Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Fly Tying Friday. Tonight I'll be tying the gold ribbed hair's ear. And we're tying it on a size 12 Mustad. Uh, just a straight shank, uh, all purpose nymph hook. And a size 2.4 millimeter bead. It's a nickel finish bead from Allen. And I'll just start by wrapping on some 6 aught brown thread. And the tail is going to be just the guard hairs from the center of the mask. And pretty much this entire fly is tied from the hair's mask. Now the name hair's ear, you would assume that most of the hair comes from the, just the ear of the hair's mask. But actually you want to go ahead and uh, when you're dubbing the body, pick out um, fibers from all over the mask. You want to get the long guard hairs, the... Uh, the short fine hairs, the hair from the actual ear all over the mask so you get a nice mixture of the, the fluffy fibers and the longer guard hairs. The longer guard hairs are what gives the nymph that uh, buggy look. Kind of looks like legs moving around. But for the tail we're just going to use, like I said, the guard hairs from the very center of the mask. And I'm just going to cut out a little clump and try to get them as long as possible. And once you get them, you just want to clean out the under fur, just like you would deer hair or anything else. And just try to keep those long fibers. And try to tie them in pretty much as long as we can, because these, they aren't too long to begin with, so. But you're shooting for around a, a hook shank length. We're just going to tie those in right on the back. Trying to keep them right on top of the hook shank. And you can tie them down the bend of the hook just a, a little bit. But just like that. And now we're going to tie in some small gold wire, some UTC, size small. We'll just lay that up and tie the tag end where, pretty much where our wing case will start. Get our thread back to the bend of the hook. And now we're going to start dubbing the body. So like I said, we're just going to pick... Uh, dubbing from all over the mask here. And then eventually you should accumulate this little ball of uh, dubbing. So now I'm just going to mix that all up, make sure all the different length fibers are mixed up in there. And the rear part of the body I'm going to want to dub pretty tight. At least that's my preference. So I make sure it's dubbed really tight, make a nice clean tapered body going up to the wing case. All right, now that we got the back part of the body wrapped, we'll just um, go ahead and wrap this gold wire up and create a rib. Tie that off. Okay, now we're going to tie in a little bit of uh, turkey for the wing case. 
And I take a, I don't know, quarter inch or so section of turkey fibers and I tie it with the butt ends in first. And you don't want the real thick butt ends though. So I'd go a little ways up the, the feather and go ahead and tie it in. And now we're gonna wanna dub a really buggy, loose um, body underneath this wing case. So you don't wanna uh, dub this too tight like we did the back half. But just kind of leave it with some guard hairs poking out and kind of airy and full of space. We'll actually brush this out later on to make sure it's real buggy, but and you want this to be substantially thicker towards the head. Alright, now just fold this wing case over. wraps and then cut off this excess. So that'll pretty much do it for the uh, gold ribbed hairs here. You can also put some UV glue on top of the wing case to make it more durable. Give it a little bit of like a air bubble look on top. But there's uh, not much to it other than that. I uh, You can leave it like this nice and compact or what I like to do is just brush this out a little bit underneath towards the head. Just with a little piece of Velcro. And then just sweep those fibers back and you got some uh, little bit of legs. So that really makes the fly look buggy and more natural. So. Like I said, that pretty much does it for the Gold Rib Tears here. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next week on another Fly Time Friday. Thanks for watching.